What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with some brand new AEW action figure news for you guys. If you guys were unaware, maybe you saw this on the social medias yesterday. Now, I've been waiting around for my Elite Series 94, WWE Mattel Elite Series 94. Thought it was going to be here the last couple days, and it has not arrived yet. Hopefully, it will arrive today, and I can get those reviews up for, you know, Edge and MSK and all that. But today, man, we're going to dive into some AEW action figure news that fell into our laps, and I have to cover it because I'm quite excited for it, and I want to get into all those things and break all of that down for you guys so with it all being said let's dive in man let's start off with it and so I don't know the original source of this I want to say it came from an eBay listing if I'm not mistaken but I did see it like going around I saw a few different like people posting about it and sharing it on Facebook and all kinds of different places so I did want to dive into it man but we have a brand new AEW and Rival Collection 2 pack now I think this may be Amazon exclusive I'll tell you guys why I think it's Amazon exclusive in just a moment but putting it up on your screen man we have an AEW and Rival Collection tag team pack of the Young Bucks we have Nick and Matt Jackson in all of their glory right here. Pretty nice looking figures. We're going to dive into the details again, break it all down for you, and kind of share my thoughts on this pack. Now, my first conclusion of this pack is, is hell yeah. You know what I mean? I think this is a great little pack. We haven't seen the Young Bucks in the Unrivaled line or the Unmatched line since Series 7. You know, we haven't I don't think we've seen Unmatched Bucks at all, right? I don't think we've seen Unmatched Bucks, but we have seen Unrivaled Bucks in Series 1, in Series 1B, in Series 3, and in Series 7. Well, now I've seen those a lot of retail now you know kind of like that laker colorway attire but this seems to be a repaint of those figures we have a repaint it looks to be like those legs to me on these figures that we're seeing here is going to be those figures it looks like these are those legs you know it looks like they have the plastic boot tassels instead of the cloth ones that we saw with the series three unrivaled you guys will also notice that this is a tag team pack similar to what we've seen from the Amazon exclusive AEW and Rivaled figures, right? We, we saw Darby and Mox, which wasn't a, ta a tag team pack. That was a Rivals pack or something like that. But we did see a tag team pack of what? Hangman and Kenny Omega. Then we also saw it with SCU, with Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky. You know, they were just repaints of other figures. And then the Adam Hangman and the Kenny Omega, those were just straight up re-releases. Like, they didn't repaint nothing. They didn't give us new nothing. It was literally just taking the Series 5 Hangman, the Series 4 Omega, throwing them into a two-pack and calling it a day, which is all good for me. I love that they're putting those figures out in production. I like that as, as these... I love these box sets. Like, they're really cool box sets. I will say that those packs seem to have a lot more accessories. It doesn't seem like we get a lot of stuff going on here, but I'm digging it. I don't see, like, any interchangeable hands. You know, you don't get any interchangeable heads or anything like that. But you do get two tag team championships. We are getting uh, AEW World Tag Titles that we've seen before. And then we're also getting two new cloth shirts, man. What a step up. I feel like I have to give a standing ovation right now because we have brand new cloth goods for these figures. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, this is custom because I actually have seen a couple customs the last couple days of some two-pack bucks. And so I, I've seen that going around, and but then I saw this, and I was like, no, bro, that looks pretty official to me. So I think this is official. Again, you have your cloth shirts. You'll also notice that on Nick Jackson, he does not have a new head sculpt. That's actually the Unrivaled Series 3 head sculpt, except it doesn't have the Elite on the headband. It is just a solid black headband that looks to be accurate by the, you know, the photo on the front where he's doing like his kissy lips sort of face there. And then you have Matt Jackson over here who doesn't have a headband, and he actually has a brand new head sculpt. That's a brand new head sculpt right there, and it's kind of weird because the head sculpt's not bad. I just feel like Matt Jackson's first head sculpt, you know, in the 1B, I'd say, is his best head sculpt in the right skin tone, and it has the right likeness. I think that was actually one of the best figures from Series 1. I may have even ranked it Series 1's best figure because it had such a great head sculpt, and it had the cloth jacket and stuff. But with this one, it's not a bad head sculpt. I don't hate the head sculpt. I think it's okay. You know, you, you got a solid little head sculpt in there. It kind of favors Nick, too, which is kind of crazy, you know, but... I like this head sculpt. I don't despise it. I think if you wanted some black wrist tape or some white wrist tape or you wanted to color these guys up, you could easily either paint the, the wrists or you could just do a torso swap with the other bucks and it would give you some bucks with, you know, some wrist tape to go instead of this just plain Jane, you know, nothingness on their arms there. So I think that would fix them up a bit. You can remove these shirts. You can put them on other bucks and stuff. But uh, I, I like this pack a lot. I like the gear a lot. I love how you have, like, the highlighter pink right there and something that just came into my brain right here is if you could grab a few of these now you guys know i gotta get my mock set which is uh, i'm swerving off on a little road here but i think this is a beautiful looking figure pack mock 
because the Bucks are in their pose. And then you have the Bucks here. If you got them both to, to autograph this thing in like a highlighter pink and a highlighter yellow or green, I think that would be beautiful to see men on card right there up on the shelf there. But that's just besides the point. Just wanted to swerve off on that little row. But one thing that I was thinking of off the top of my dome, I think it'd be cool to get a few packs of this. And how sick would it be to take like Matt's right leg and plug the right leg of Matt onto Nick? And then take the right leg of Nick and plug it onto Matt. That way you would have Matt in all green and then Nick in all pink. And then you can get another pack and then switch both legs. So then you could have Matt in all pink and then Nick in all green. I think that would be pretty sweet to see. So maybe that is something that, you know, maybe we could play around. That's just a fix-up that came to my brain right here. But I love this two-pack. I think it's a really sweet two-pack. No news on this. I think a long time ago on Amazon, this popped up. And it was a, a pre-order image. I think some people even have this pre-order. Maybe if you've if you've pre-ordered pre this on Amazon and you already know that it's in, let me know down in the comment section below. But I think this was up for pre-order on Amazon and somebody got it locked in. But there was no images. They didn't put any images up. But you guys know that uh, I think this was originally an eBay listing. And those people that get these figures early, they always are listing figures early on eBay and they're always AEW. Like this person that posted this, I'm pretty sure it's the same person that posted the Shop AEW exclusive months and months before it was available to everybody else. So I'm sure this Young Bucks 2-pack is going to be coming very soon and it'll be something that we can A, pre-order and then we can get our hands on. So I like this pack a lot. I think it's a beautiful looking pack and again, I think if we're going to be getting this, we're probably going to get other packs, right? There's going to be other packs. I don't know exactly. I could see them doing a Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus repaint uh, you know tag team patch something like that maybe they do a rivals pack of like CM Punk and somebody I think that would be really dope you could get a re-release of CM Punk get another punk out there in you know fluctuation for collectors and stuff like that we'll have to see about it but the way that those other two packs and Amazon exclusives are available I like this. I like this because they're, they've are they been re readily available. They haven't been like super crazy in price. If you've wanted them, you've been able to get them. They've dropped in price. I've seen them go from like 40 or 45 like on Prime down to 34 and then even I think I saw one for 29 or 24 99 for the two packs. So I think this is going to be obtainable. I don't think it's going to be anything out of the ordinary there, but I had to get it on here and discuss it because you can fix these bucks up. I think they still look incredible and I think even with head swaps, you may can do them up a little bit easier even more but the Nick Jackson head sculpt that's probably the best Nick Jackson they've made and then as far as Matt Jackson I don't know you may want to get the Street Fighter gears that we're getting from GameStop you know the GameStop exclusive Street Fighter AEW Young Bucks maybe you want to switch those heads there's a bunch of different playability there we'll have to see about it when the time comes you know you know, switching figures around and things like that. You can make all kinds of different bucks. If you were to buy two of the Nick or two of the Matt and then, you know, acetone or whatever, you could play around with these attires and make some really cool figures. But had to get on here, had to discuss this two-pack. It's the only news that we have here. But I think it makes for its own video because it's so badass. Like, I love this. I think these could be in the running for the best bucks we've seen so far. And the Series 3 have that title right now. But these could take the place of that, depending on how good these are and how well they, you know, they move around and stuff like that. We'll have to wait till we get them in hand. But they look damn good, men on card, and we'll have to see about that. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out before we get out of here. Again, man, if my Elite 94 is not here today, I'm going to have to suplex the male lady. And this shout-out is going to go to my man Nick Storm Review, who says, Definitely bring back the pay-per-view reviews. It's cool to me seeing all the figures that were on the card in figure form and in one video. Regardless, the show was entertaining, and I appreciate Nick. Always appreciate him. Great entertainer over there, but I will bring back the pay-per-view reviews. And I've always thought it was cool to see the figures up next to each other, you know, after they wrestle and you see them in the plastic form. So I do have my Omos and my MVP figures coming, and then we have some more coming soon. So, you know, we can fill out those spots in the roster. And also, Omos is coming in Elite 97, I think, or something like that. So we'll have his Elite in here not too long ago. But shout out to Nick, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on these bucks down in the comments section below. And let me know if you're hyped for Elite Series 94. Can't wait to get my hands on that white edge. It's going to be sick as hell. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. Have a blessed one. See you guys next time. With all due respect. You crossed the line. I've been beaten